Hi. Uh, thank you so much, DY, for the opportunity. And hello, Nikki and Steve. Thank you so much, Steve, for the pictures from Jakarta. It's, um, it brings me a ho more homesick feeling in this cold, windy, and dark Netherlands. Yeah, Steve. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm going to go through these presentations, and I will skip a, a part of some slides because I think we are running out of time. And I'm here on behalf of my lovely colleague, Alzheimer Indonesia, across Indonesia and across the globe. They are watching it now. And then this is a teamwork, uh, of course, and then how we implemented the um, our sessions in Jakarta back in 2017, and then three years from that. It's really an amazing journey in our community fundraising. Okay, so next. Well, where is Indonesia? I think we will skip this because, you know, maybe this Indonesia is something you can Google next. <laughs> and yes, Indonesia, now we are for, uh, facing the number four in the, in, 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 in the world of uh, people with dementia. And then in 2013, we will having a biggest productive age generations will, will be facing a challenge are being caregivers because uh, um, the elderly in Indonesia is getting more and more and then we have uh, both economic issues in economic issues and the social issues next and this one that's why I have to tell you that I am here on behalf of my other colleagues because we have 21 chapters and um, some of it is abroad and many chapters is having a, a lot of amazing initiative on community fundraising. Next. Yes, what is community in Indonesia? We are really a brotherhood and sisterhood country feeling. So when you see here, this is me and my high school friends actually. And when we are together, we just like to feel like, you see, Alzheimer Indonesia, we are always wearing purple. And then we just like, we are one. So the kinship uh, ties, families, or maybe religions, tribes, alumni or something, uh, anything similarity, it brings the brotherhood and sisterhood feeling and that is really connected to more, more uh, smooth to us for build a community and then from there to the fundraising. So it, uh, the brotherhood and sisterhood effect factors is actually making a big uh, uh, factors too in our community uh, fundraising activities next and from here we are going to some examples from alzheimer indonesia chapters in indonesia and abroad i have to select so many things uh, creative ideas from uh, these three years so i pick some and but more of it you can look at in our social media and website and this is from uh, samarang in central java we are going to uh, central java where they have here the cooking competition and the cooking competition is a healthy cooking competition because let's eat fish and uh, also uh, they are making uh, fundraising through uh, pre-love bazaars and also gardening together so any togetherness we can make it as a community fundraising tools in indonesia so togetherness is really important and we earn around 50 and 200 us dollars per event uh, sometimes it doesn't really uh, the the amount but the togetherness and from there you have the experience and you have the drive to do it do it again sometimes the good feeling is also important for us to 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 continue it an activity next and then from Samarang, we go to Malang, to East Java, when Malang has a really, really strong relationship with intergenerations, with young people. So many of their activities is, is um, involving a young generation from movie screening and um, the intergeneration games on World Alzheimer Month. Next. And they are also on the World Alzheimer Month 2019. They are making a biggest event with more than 4,500 elderly in one time, in one place for the World Alzheimer Month. It's so amazing when you see this is the drone um, pictures for 4,500 elderly. Next. And this is the community fundraising from Jaffa. We're going to Lombok. 
uh, uh, an island far more than Bali, more to the east of Bali. And here you can see they have a fundraising booth and also a local traditional food festival. So when you see local food festival is also really, really together and localized. So it's really culturally, culturally adapted uh, with the local, local chapters. Next. And from there, from Lombok, this is also amazing. To our champions now, who happens to be there also a caregivers, they make a campaign Everest for Alzheimer Indonesia. So they make the journey to climb the Everest mountain on the home uh, base um, of the Everest. And then they are making a crowdfunding, online crowdfunding, and all the donation is um, go to Alzheimer Indonesia. This is an amazing from Handikin and Pau. Hopefully you are uh, watching now. And it's earned more than uh, 14,000 US dollars. I really appreciate it. And it inspires a lot of caregivers. So as a caregivers, you just um, not only supporting by uh, helping, but you can, if you can do uh, the things that you like. And actually, it creates some creativity to create fundraising too. And the community helps through the crowdfunding platform. Next. Yeah, and this is actually a breakthrough when we are um, now where everything in Corona is, um, everything is online and all the marathons is cancelled, I guess, and people doing a virtual marathon now, but we already do it in, <laughs> so in, 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 in 2019, before the Corona uh, breaks, we already having an Alzheimer Indonesia virtual run when people are running from all over the world. And then um, um, it's donating also, and we having a medals and we having also uh, the, the, the um, um, uh, certificate and it, it, it creates um, more than uh, 7,000 US dollars at that time. Next. And then also we have the Alzheimer Indonesia star. It's also make a great uh, income for us. Next, for the merchandise. Next. Yes, and from uh, Indonesia, now we're going to abroad or overseas chapters. This is in Geneva when they're having a painting auctions and the merchandise selling in World Alzheimer Month. So auctions can be an alternative too. Next. And also, and from there, we are going to the Netherlands when they have uh, a lot of um, selling merchandise and Indonesian traditional souvenirs and, and food is really uh, um, famous in, in the Netherlands. So we go from that route uh, to have a community fundraising on togetherness. Next. And also we have a charity pop-up bazaar selling clothes. It's like a pre-love bazaar. Next. And also for the intergenerations, this is also an inspiration because the International School of Groningen here in the Netherlands, they are doing a bake sale. So they are making a cupcakes and then the earning is going to Alzheimer Indonesia. So they are doing fundraising for that. And it's not bad. It's 176 US dollars. Next. And this is also a crowdfunding for a printing a book because we are translating, adapting book from Alzheimer Netherlands to Alzheimer Indonesia, to Bahasa Indonesia and, and Indonesian um, cultures. So we are doing a crowdfunding to printing the books. Next. And also, uh, this is some initiative, uh, online crowdfunding for Jakarta flood uh, victims. So uh, the online crowdfunding is having a, a, a good um, initiative for us, for our activity. It helps a lot too. Next. Yeah. And then after the pandemic breaks, we are making and um, practice makes perfect because in the pandemic times we have a lot of practice. And so we are still ongoing doing a proposal for the NGOs, government and private sectors. And so also a partnership in doing care navigators and webinars and creating dementia tips and tricks through the videos that you can see in our YouTube is also bring some sponsorships who wants to sponsor our videos, our dementia tips and tricks. And we have online crowdfunding, online concert with the uh, Atma Jaya University, and merchandise selling, and the twinning program from the Netherlands and Indonesia. This is the DBC concert with the Atma Jaya 
students who are raising fun for us. Thanks. And lesson learned, practice make perfect. Just like um, uh, Steven sa uh, Steve said, just um, you know, keep doing it, always practice. So it has to be tangible what we want to achieve with the fundraising, the objective, and keep reminding the audience. So don't be like if the first time you got um, rejected and then keep reminding them that you are there. Be consistent, persistent, and storytelling of what you want to do. What do you want to achieve with this funding? The progress and reward, and don't forget to thank the donors, the volunteers, your partners, and everybody in the team. Peer-to-peer uh, -peer engagement, so again, for us, togetherness is really important. And also, at the end, we have to make a report for all the fundraising we have. Next. So, thank you very much. Terima kasih in Bahasa Indonesia. If you need uh, more uh, questions or you want to contact us for more, uh, you can contact us in my email address and website to our website. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone.